Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, Tuesday, amazing day. I absolutely love Monday. If you know me, then you know I love Monday. Monday is my day. Um, I don't say Monday starts my day, starts my week. I say um, that's definitely to Sunday. Sunday is an absolutely amazing day for me to set, be with my family, um, to get everything set on up. And then Monday, I feel like I got my skates on and I need to be able to set my day. And then Tuesday, I'm already in action. So like this week is already set up with this level of intention and I'm literally fulfilling it out. And then everything else that comes on me and can fit in in the spaces in which I have. And then the next following week is already being worked on right now. Like, it's like, hey, this is where we going. Um, even last night was just like, hey man, this is a promotion month. Get it together, go to bed, get up, spring out the bed and be ready with intention. And so today's topic is near and dear to me because it's tips and tricks on closing the sale. It's on closing the sale. It's closing the sale. So yesterday we worked a lot on um, making sure the things were in your appointment book and you were asking for them, right? That you have to make sure that you're putting it down. It's in here. It's level of intention. You know where it is that you're going to go. But then the next question becomes this. Well, Tracy, how the heck do I make sure that they get, they close? Like, how do I get them into E-Suite? Don't everybody want to know the answer? Right. Like, how the heck do I get them there? Well, first off, when we think of asking, we think of, okay, um, can you buy my greens? Can you buy this? That's what you think of of being asked, right? But the number one, so listen to me with this. The number one way to have a successful business is to check the psychology of the owner. It's in your head. It's up here. What do you believe when you're about to do that? So guess what? I'm going to ask, ask, A-S-K. I want you to ask yourself these questions before you talk to anybody. Okay? A, am I assuming they don't want it? S, am I saying out my mouth? Am I saying, you know what? I'm not sure. K, am I killing my own sale? I want you to ask those questions in your head. What does your head say before you get on the phone? Guess what? Whatever your head says before you get on the phone is the output of the call. I have trained numerous salespeople in automotive, real estate, and in the beauty industry, okay? And I will tell you that when a person walks out and they don't do it, my first question I always go back to them is like, did you think they were going to do it today? Did you say they were going to do it? And they were like, no, um, they did what I thought. Oh, so you projected yourself onto them. That's what you just did. If that's what you thought prior to going on in, guess what? Congratulations, you got your outcome. Because that's what you were thinking. So I want you to make sure you are not assuming they don't want it, you're not saying they don't want it, and you're killing your opportunity right when you walk into the door. So you got to check yourself. Hey, what I used to love to do in our sales environments when we were in, uh, um, I used to work, I was talking to with my sister uh, when we were coming back from Rockford. And I was saying, I remember when I used to work over, hey, I don't know if y'all know, Mattson Auto Mall. This was a marketing manager. Tracy, young girl, marketing manager of the Auto Mall. And what I used to tell everybody, so my job was to um, make sure that customer service was great, um, make sure um, that the closures did happen and also chart them. But when anybody would get on those phones, I had to make sure that they was okay. You have to always make sure that you check the state you're in before you talk to people. So if I saw somebody that was on the phone that was like this, and they, they were like this, huh? um, yeah, okay. Okay, stand up. Come on, let's go walk around the dealership. Go shake it off. And then I'll ask them a quick question. Hey, that Camry, how is it? Is it amazing? Is it great? I don't know. You don't know? Let's go read some material. Let's go read the material on the car. Let's go get in the car. Let's go test drive the car. 
okay oh we are in real estate hey do you think that loan is right i don't know i know she's gonna be able to get it okay hey did you see the house the person that they were looking at did you see that did you see it no okay go look at the go look at the two million dollar house that they're about to buy now come back and process that loan so i'm telling you right now ways to check your brain everybody is always looking for the master sales tip the master um what do you say when you're on the phone hey can i be on the phone is that what you say but guess what when you walk into the call when i walk into a call i know what i have is five i know the business that i'm doing i'm in right now is an amazing business if you don't know that before you call a loyal customer get your behind off the phone go see some results go get on pinterest go pump your cell phone up to know this thing do what it's supposed to do in the event that it's not doing it for you hey we got a flip you need to talk to a sideline sister or downline sister if your sister's doing it talk to your sister <laughs> you need to talk to somebody who's doing this before you get on the phone because guess what the moment you hear an objection you're out you out as soon as they say oh well i don't know i don't know if they have a everything else i'm gonna tell you from that point you agreed you agreed with them so here is really really important every training i do i always tell you it's here even when you're running with your team what do i tell you hey if they're not doing this what are you doing five fingers if you're new to watching me five fingers means every time you point the finger there's one pointing back at you have you checked you first are you are you okay anytime you want to talk to somebody in regards to coming on your team hey did you get fired from what everybody else was doing like are you fired up hey y'all i'm fired up because i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna launch out to my team today how much in bonuses we going for this month it's commas in there <laughs> it's commas in there in there it's commas in there so that fires me up so guess what when i was that pumped when i went to bed last night and i looked at this number and then i got up this morning guess who started immediately because i was already coming from that fire right guess who got up this morning and started talking to people about being in this business one so i text out to you all this morning two potentials guess what i'm up to eight you want to know how i'm doing it i'm here i saw the commas i went to bed last night i read reread the stories i looked on everybody's page I went through to my team last night. It was like, what are you pushing for? What are you going for? What are you doing? Oh, wow. We all are going to what? Okay. Got up this morning, started. I only had two people in which to talk to. But then I was like, well, what about the other people who I haven't talked to? What about those? Let them hear my fire. Y'all see how I'm firing this morning? No, no, no. Not a text, not a whatever. Hey, girl, let me tell you what I'm doing today. I know we haven't talked. I understand that. But last night, I looked and I saw what my team was doing. And I need you on it. Like, I know you've been sitting back, you've been watching, you've been seeing. Hey, get off the sideline. Can we talk today? Not tomorrow. Can we talk today? I need to talk to you today. That was the conversation. And the more I kept saying, can we talk today? Then the next question became, what is the number one question, the reason why people cannot close the deal, ladies? What is the number one question? What is your phone number? Then it turned into, what is your phone number? And now I have eight phone numbers. So you can't call somebody potential. You can't. They can be a potential in the air. Remember I told you goals. Goals are those things that are floating in the air. They don't become action and attainable until you write them out and you actually start doing them. So, hey, you're not a potential. You're on my list of wishes. You're a wish to me until I get your phone number. If I don't have your phone number, I'm wishing you to be on my team. I wish it. I don't want to wish. I want some potentials. I want everybody else to get some potentials. So that number one question must be asked today. What's your phone number? What is your phone number? Okay, great. When can I call you today? See, in order to close a sale, when we move out of our mind frame and your state is already checked and you in that space and I'm going in today and I'm about to get me a loyal customer and I'm about to get me a distributor and I'm about to make sure I get your number, then it has to go in intention. Now we have to be in intention. Um, 
can I call you? Hey, you don't want to let put nobody in any position of can I? That's a yes or no question. You don't want that. So when you say, hey, this is what I want and I'm looking to close, guess how you ask that? I love to call you today at 4 p.m. Does that work for you? Because guess what? You're saying yes or no to the 4 p.m. Okay, that doesn't work. Can I call you at 2? That doesn't work. Can I call you at 1? What time? No, that doesn't work. What time today can I call you? Oh, I can't call you today? Okay, what time tomorrow can I call you? I know you want to do this. What, what is that time frame? Now, I can tell you with some people, especially when they're hearing me like this, they're like, dang, she really want me to be on this. Yes, she does. You know what? This is what one lady told me because we were already at Friday. And I was like, okay, so you're going to take me to all the way to Friday for an amazing opportunity. What if you don't make it to Friday? What if everything underneath the sun happens to you that maybe your son gets sick, that such and such has happened? Like, you're putting a lot of faith in being able to go all the way to Friday. She was like, you know what, you're right. Call me at 10 a.m. Okay. <laughs> all right. But intention, write that down. Intention has to be there. I have to be intentional to get what I want. I know when I get on the phone, after you check your mind, I know when I get on the phone, I'm here for a loyal. I'm here for a distributor. Do not think I'm just telling you a fake. Do not think that I'm telling, oh, she's telling me to just change my mind. Yes, change your mind. You want to know why? Because if your mind gets on the phone and your mind says, hey, I'm getting this call today, guess what you won't do? You won't leave until you get what you came for. But if in your mind, you already made it okay that if they're doing something else, you're going to bow out with them. So here comes those. How do I, Tracy, how do I get there? I'm not like you. I'm, I'm not this level of intention. I'm not this whatever. Da, 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 da. I don't want to hear that. Because we're already at a problem if that's what you're thinking right now. I don't need that. You don't need that. What you do is find the things that pump you up. Is it, is it your personal development? Is it your personal time with God? Do you like to run on a tread like Carmen? <laughs> like, what is it? What do you need to do to get you there? If you're on the phone and you're feeling stagnant and you're not believing, get off. It's going to translate. Go view Pinterest. Go read your upline. If your upline is in an amazing position and that's where you see you need to be and you need to get some fire, go do that. Go do what you got to do to be on fire for what you do. You ever walked into a business and the front desk people are horrible? Have you ever done that? And you're like, oh, give me my money back. Like, I'm going somewhere else. No. Guess what? You are front desk. Put that down. I am front desk to my business. I am front desk. Anytime somebody, I, the, hey, you are a, you are in a five-star resort business. Five-star, right? When they first talk to you, you are front desk. Do you match the five-star business? Hey, Amen, because you are. This is in a place that is built. I saw Cammy's video last night. It was so dope. It's like over four, it's less than five minutes. And the very first thing, I know what she's trying to say. The very first thing, it's a black screen. Y'all see me? It's a black screen. And then it goes, and it's drawn around and it draws a diamond. And it's like black diamond. Yo, do you know what black diamond is in this business? Black diamond is $100,000 a month in sales for six months. She was like, hey, before I even start talking to you, I need you to understand I'm Black Diamond. That's the business you're in, right? So when you are that concierge, that front person, that's what has to come out of you. Guess what? And you say, hey, Tracy, but I'm not doing that now. How do I do that? Okay, so let me take you back from when you used to work for somebody. Let me take you back. Hey, that was a million dollar, billion dollar, whatever, a company, right? When you walked in and somebody was paying you, did you have to take on the ownership of the brand? Didn't you have to do that? Yes, shake your head, you did. 
I need you to take that same action and bring it over here. That's the company you work for. Hey, if you had to go to work today, if you had to go to work for that company, what do you look like? What clothes do you wear? What makeup do you wear? What fragrance do you wear? If you work for that company, what does your hair look like? What does your makeup look like? Hey, you about to walk on out and you about to go be with the CEO today. What, what, do you, what do you look like? How does your voice sound? What are all those things? How do they do? Think about it. Now what I want you to do, when you do that now, do you look the same? Do you talk the same? Do you act the same? Do you put your schedule together the same? Remember I told you to get what you desire and where it is that you're going, you have to check your behavior. It has to match. You got to check your behavior. Hey, if the company came to you right now, hey, anybody ever been in Target and seen the sales meeting in Target? Anybody ever seen that? Have y'all seen the little huddle? And they all out there with their red shirts and they gray and they and they all out there like, yes, we about to go out here and we about to sell some toiletries. <laughs> and then they, and that manager is out there telling them, hey guys, we have to do like fifty thousand dollars today. We have to do this, and we got to, and everybody's going, hee ho, yay! Right? It's called a huddle. That's a huddle. The huddle brings you in to give you the goal. Where is you going to go? Do you huddle yourself every day? Are you in a huddle with yourself? Before you get on your calls, before you close everything, are you in a huddle with yourself every single day? Ask yourself that. Write that down. You will forget this. Do I huddle myself every day? Do I huddle my team every day? Huddle is not a training just so you understand that. A huddle allows people to come in, give you mass information. Hey, today, hi, guess what? What we need is we need 10 loyals. We need them at 100, we need $100 uh, dollars of loyals at 10. Hey, you, I need you to do two, I need you to do four, I need you to do six. Hey, we gotta get out here, we gotta go do what we gotta do. All right, great. Huddles can happen 10 to 15 minutes a day with your team. Make sure you're doing them, but make sure you huddle yourself first. So now, to get into closure, I've already told you about making sure you're not putting mind frame. Intention needs to be there. Number one thing that we don't do as sales professionals to get the sale to go is to get the phone number, right? Then when you get the phone number, hey, Trey, what am I supposed to do with them when they're telling me no? Guess what? It becomes easy at this point. Because see, if you've checked all of these other things and you believe in it, have you, how many of you all have been to a vacation? Let's say we go to the islands and take you on a, a little trip right now. Carmen, come on, take us somewhere. Where are we going? Aruba? We went to Aruba. We went to the Bahamas. We going to Jamaica. We going to Hawaii. Are you there? Like, take your brain on this trip real quick. Are you there? Are you going? Now, imagine we out here, we'd have had all of our pina coladas. We've had a massage on the beach, okay? You stayed in an amazing resort where literally they took your bags on up. Um, they had extra, like all the free wine was in your room that you wanted. <laughs> um, they had free tickets for you everywhere to go and go see all of the, the excursions. My safe person that was there, right? And then you come back home. And you are like, oh my God, how many of you have come back home from that, that type of vacation and then wanted to go back? You want to go back? Then you go into your coworker and your coworker goes, um, you know what? I was thinking of going, they were like, where'd you go? I went to Aruba and this is all that was happening, blah, 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 blah. And then they go, Aruba, I heard that was garbage. And you're like, the experience. Did y'all did you stay at this resort? Then you start going to back. Hey, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you see this? You didn't ride the horses <laughs> in the water. <laughs> you didn't ride the horse in the water and then glaze over it, she got and everything <laughs> went well and had the massage on the same. You didn't do this? You didn't do that? Oh, you need to go back. You need to go back. I'm gonna get you my place. 
Now, let me bring you in the it works. When somebody tells you no, can you say those things? Hey, the rap don't work. Oh, no. Let me tell you. What did you do? Oh, that's what you did? Oh, no. What you're supposed to do is do this, 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 and this. Oh, no. I heard about those products, and those products don't work. Okay. Usually when I hear that, let me tell you right now, I am this company alone. I lost 130 pounds. So I'm going to tell y'all this. This is my story. Lost 130 pounds. Came in this company and lost 48. I gained some. Came in this company and lost 48. You can't... You can't tell me thermo don't work. It worked. It did. So I'm like, oh, no, what did you do? Oh, you didn't do that? Oh, okay, so guess what? You need to take two of these. You need to do the water. Did you drink water? Oh, you didn't drink water? Oh, that's it. You need to go back and drink your water. Let's try this again. Oh, the coffee? The coffee's not bomb? How'd you make it? How did you make it? Do you all see all of my responses right now? Conversation. I know good and well. No. Oh, I heard that people don't make money in that business. Hey, man, all of my checks cleared. Comet got everything. Works come got everything. Uh, ain't nobody took no money back. I don't know what somebody told you. Oh, it's a scheme. <sighs> Chase ain't caught up with the scheme yet. Because I'm out here still making money. I got commas in my check. So I really don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Because that's the belief of the person that's delivering. That's the belief of them. They have that. You can't you can't tell somebody who knows something about something. Let somebody you have a relationship with God and Jesus. Let somebody tell you he ain't real. Okay. Let me tell you where I came from. Let me tell you who I serve. Let me you need oh, you know what? You you need you went to the wrong church. I need you to come to mind. Hey, let my pet. Hey, you will bring the person to the. Hey, man, pass. Touch her head. She crazy. Cause I know what's happening in here for me. So I'm telling you right now, it's you. Five fingers. Point back to you. Hey, check here. Check here. What's going on? Do you have great product results? If you don't, go get some. <laughs> Choose a journey. Do some hair, skin, and nails. Do some skin. Do some something. Go get it. And until you have your own, if you're new on here, lean on somebody who does. If I'm your upline, hey, I'll give you all my photos until you get your own. You get it? Business-wise, hey, this business is doing something for you, even if it's just the personal development that you hear in the morning and it's changed your life. Hey, listen, I know there's money in here, but right now in this business, it's changed my mind frame. I don't think the same way that I used to. I'm seeing all these people that are going around that black, and hey, that motivated me, that, that black diamond thing. I know I'm not there yet, but I know that it's in the mist. I know that it's here. I know that if I keep doing and I keep studying, I'm actually going to get it too. However, what I'm doing right now is this. I remember when I first came in, hey, hey, listen, when I first came into this business, I had to attach it to something. I was already a multi six figure earner. So I was like, okay, I know that, hey, over here, I could do this seven figure in one year. So, hey, I got to attach it to something. So when those fast starts, them $100 start coming through and them checks when they first start coming through, guess who was using that for groceries? I. Guess who was using that for things like my nails? Guess who put it to purpose to use somewhere? So when I put it to use somewhere, this business was doing something for me. So it was like, hey, y'all, I don't pay for my groceries anymore. Hey, y'all, I don't pay for my beauty needs anymore. It's literally coming from the business that I decided. See, you do not have to make it to the mountaintop for it to do something for you. But if you, as the leader, as the owner of the brand, as the owner of the business, if you are multi, if you are not corded in here, and it is not doing anything. When so, as soon as somebody tells you this ain't a great business, guess what? Your brain will immediately go to believing them. Hey, you're on this side of the road. We playing tug of war here, right? So we're trying to pull them on this side. So as I'm trying to pull you on this side and they're pulling back, are you leaning over and going with them? Hey, I don't know about y'all. Y'all play tug of war. Didn't you want to win? How do you win? You get the biggest amount of forces you have and you plant your feet and you come back. That's what I need your brain to do. That's what I need your brain to do. We play a tug of war here. Everybody on the other side, they're on that side. Don't you be on the opposing side with them. 
We're over here, y'all. We over here winning. We over here getting results. We're over here having our business to do something for us. So we're playing tug of war. Whose side is you on? <laughs> hey, man, because I need some more people on this side. <laughs> I do. I'm trying to win it. I'm almost two from the top. Where are you? Are you four from the top? How do you get to being two from the top? You have to believe in what you do. You have to believe in there. You have to have results. This is the easiest business I've ever done, y'all. It is. Because all I got to do is go get results. And then I have to share it. Get some results and share it. Results. Share it. Results. Hey, share it. Like, seriously, that's all I got to do. <laughs> like, that's all I got to do. Where we make it hard is that we make it hard. It's not hard. It isn't. You want to know what's hard? Fighting yourself. You know what? It don't work. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. Um, I don't know if I'm not just really strong there. Oh, I really want to be able to post this, but I don't know what they're going to say. Forget them. Your job every day is to do your job. So you want to know how you close the sale? You get the phone number. Once you get the phone number, you put it in your appointment book. Once it's in your appointment book, you call them. Once you call them, you then give them your story. It doesn't work? Yes, it does, because when I did this, oh, and if it doesn't work for you, guess what? Oh, so let me tell you about my upline, because when I first came into this business, I didn't have one yet, but my upline had been in this business for four and a half years. She has made over six figures. She has had over a hundred some thousand dollars in bonuses, all of this, so that was the story I led with. I didn't have one of my own. So let me tell you, hey, I don't have a story right now, but let me tell you why I came into this business. Let me tell you why I'm here. Let me tell you what I see on the other side. And then once they did become my customer, guess what? Now I got my results. I lost five pounds. I lost seven. So now here's her story and here's my story. And I don't think of it as my little story. That was my story. Then when it started paying on groceries, hey, it, it, it's paying groceries. Hey, y'all got five people in this house. Paying groceries up in here is beautiful. That's what I need. I need to eat. <laughs> I need to be able to have them. So I, I had something to tie it to. What is your something to tie it to? When you get on the phone, when you're playing that tug of war, what side are you on? Why did you ask yourself that? What side are you on? Are you on there, the non-believing side? Because everybody who comes into something doesn't believe in this yet. You are concierge. To this five-star resort you are it you're you are the first person that is going to unlock an amazing potentially op opportunity for somebody to come on in here and change their life in two different ways do they get a better body hey let's go over here do they get another mind frame because maybe they thought they couldn't and now they can and here's another one now they can change their life with a new job career. I sat in my kitchen this morning. Y'all ready for this? I'm about to give y'all something personal. I was in my kitchen this morning and I'm making my coffee this morning. My husband's blending out, you know, his, he has ginger root and spinach and all this. And I have this over my brain. I'm like, babe, he's like, yeah, this is what I love. He's like, what? I'm like, just being here. Like, even if I'm in here in my office, I get up in the morning, I get dressed, I'm in here, I'm in my home. I don't have no socks on. <laughs> you know, I'm in here cute, but I have no socks on and I get to walk around. And if I make a decision that right now I need to go cook me a chicken salad, I can. I like this freedom. I want this freedom. I desire this. Because see, I'm in this business for freedom. Yes, the second goal is to get to the seven figure. The first one is my freedom. So you can't, hey, when somebody tell me they don't want to do this, and I'll be like, well, how's that commute working for you in the morning? Especially somebody who I know who making money and tired of being, and you sick and tired of being sick and tired, but you over here making me the enemy? How's that drive? How's that working? Because see, I believe in that. When I'm on this phone, hey, I know you want to be on my side. I know you do. So let me now tell you all the features and benefits of what it is that I do. And then guess what? At the end of the day, your job is to be the best informational person so they can make an educated decision.
If somebody says yes to you, write this down. If somebody says yes to you, you did not make them say yes. If they say no to you, you did not make them say no. You want to know what happened? Opportunity meets itself. That's what happened. You gave yourself an op, you put yourself in front of somebody who was ready, and then you gave them enough information, and then they said yes. That's what happened. And then guess what? You also put yourself in front of somebody who has on that tug of war, they on the other side, so far, so deep, you're not strong enough yet. Because you don't know what's really going on with them, right? You didn't lose. When they told you no, you didn't lose. It's just not the time. So that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to keep doing what you do well with high level of regard. And then guess what? You come back again. You come back again and you give the same opportunity yet again. And then guess what? Maybe they may be leaning a little bit more forward. Guess what? Maybe you can get them now. Now when I yank and I put it down, maybe I can get you. Maybe they didn't slip back so far now with whatever's going on in their personal situation that now is even stronger than you. Guess what you may need to do? You may need to. What do we do in tug of war? If you're losing, if you're losing think about when you was a kid. We pulling. And all your friends is behind you. And they come grab the back of the rope. What happens then? you pull back maybe you can get them guess how you can pull back that way go get your upline go get one of your successful sideline sisters put two of y'all on her hey i know i know this is for you so guess what i'm going to have you talk to this person with me right because in that tug of war we can win it that way maybe it's not just you get out your ego thinking you hey it's you they didn't say yes or no to you. They said yes or no to their situation. That's it. So stop looking for, what, hey, what, what, what's the, what's the, what word do you say? I'm going to tell you Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops, that's what I said. It doesn't matter the words, ladies. It's your belief system. When you go into there, hey, have you been doing this a long period of time and now you think it doesn't work? Go check that. Go get around some people that it's still working for. Are you new in this business right now? And you're like, hey, everybody around me, just they don't just want the goods. Stop saying that. Everybody around you just isn't ready. You just started. Are you the type of person that everything, you try something every 90 days? Hey, they trying to see if you're going to last. <laughs> I'm giving you the real. They're trying to figure out, is this another thing that I'm about to help her with and she's not going to do? That's the real. Do you keep hopping around? Hey, in the salon world, when you come up in here and you be in every chair, we call you chair hoppers. Just to let you know. <laughs> we sure do. We talk about you. <laughs> if you go in the salon and you in full chairs, we don't talk about you. Because we like, why won't you make a decision? So guess what? If that's who you are, you're going to have to stick in here a little bit longer and stick with something. I don't care what it is. Bake cookies well. Go make beds well. Do something for long enough so somebody will believe in what you're doing now and actually want to support you. If that's what you're doing. See, these are the non-obvious answers, but these are the real answers. This is the reason why it's not going on. I say, I'll say this. I've told everybody to stop selling, and I still see people selling. So guess what? You want to know what that's equivalent to? Here's the brick wall. Take your head. If that's what you want, your head's going to bleed. You're going to get a concussion. Stop it. That's not how you do it. You, you're, in order to be successful in 2018 sales, you have to build a relationship. You're not going to get away from it. It's not going to happen. As a matter of fact, businesses are going to become extinct if they don't start getting relationships. Just so you understand, if they don't, they're going to go away because that's where we are. Have you ever known, you want to know why reality TV is so amazing right now? Because people love the story. Truth or fallacy, they just love the story. That's where we are. So if you don't go with the grain of where we are, you're going to get left behind and then you're going to be extinct. Hey, when I come to your house, do you still have a caller ID box? Remember the caller ID box? 
Remember when that was popping? Hey man, you had money when you had a call ID box. Remember that? Now you're archaic. Girl, if you don't get your, if you don't get a phone that had like, I'm gonna need you to like, come on. No, you can't be my girl like this. So I'm asking you, are you still being archaic right now? Are you still out here selling? Hey man, we off that. That's not 2018. It's not what it, where it is. I need your story. Hey, when you're drinking your water and you're drinking your greens, what is it doing for your life? That's where we are. Hey, when you take this thermal fight, how do you take the thermal fight? That's where we are. When you are trying to get somebody to join your business, it's not who wants to make $200 a month. It is literally, okay, let me come on here and tell you what this $200 a month is doing for me and how it could do it for you. That's the land we're in right now. If you're doing it the other way, you're doing it the old way. You still have the caller ID box. You all, we, I can't let you be my girl and still be out here with a caller ID box. I'm going to have to fix your life. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix your life. I'm going to have to eat young again. You're like, we got to change this. So I'm here to help. I'm here to assist. This training right here, I know is on fire because if you listen to me, if you do what it is that I'm telling you to do, you won't just be sitting around talking about, dang, she on fire. It will be we on fire. Not she. We. Let's change those words. We. We can be on fire. Okay? So I thank y'all today for tuning in to How to Close a Sale. So what I'm going to do today, and I told you all I'm opening this on up, I'm going to open this up for questions and I'm going to use today. If you ask a question today, it will be recorded. And the reason why is because I want to use it as a training. I want you to hear where my brain goes. I don't know anything that anybody's about to ask me right now. I have no idea. But guess what? I know this company is mine. I know I believe in my sales ability. I don't care what you throw at me and what no you have. I don't hear you. I only hear yes. You get it? So what I'm going to do right now is take this on off. Hey, this lady's name is... Yeah, that's All right. one. So if you come in and you have a question, I'd like you to tell me what your name is so I can go find you. Uh, we are going to do this exercise for about 15 minutes, just so you know. So each individual person that has, I'm going to give you about a two to three minute window so we can get in as many as we possibly can. Okay, so when you come in with a question, it needs to be one question. One. Hey, right. Tracy, good morning. Hey, Pavi, how about you? I'll be first. Hi, you know I'm coming. <laughs> this is how I learn. Good. This is how I learn, though. This is how I learn. I do what you tell me to do. I do what you tell me to do. <laughs> okay, good morning. Really quick. Um, I know you said you had two potentials and then it went up to eight. Were you already prospecting these people before you got that? Hey, did you just send them a message like, hey, I know you'd be good at this. I've been, you know, checking you out. Or how did you get to that eight? No, that's a script. Okay. What I did was, is I went down their wall and I saw what was going on with them. And then I said, good morning. Then when I said, good morning, they said, good morning back. Okay. And then I said, hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Guess what? I don't know if you had the opportunity to check on out my wall. Now, these are people who I have already been following. We have already been liking. Okay. We've already been in the inbox together. Got it. Right? I said, why are they not on the other side? Why am I not winning this tug of war here? I need you today. Hey, I know we haven't had an opportunity in which to kind of talk on the phone. I know we've been back and forth. I'd love to talk to you today. What's your phone number? That's what that that's how that happened. And it was all via voice. It was all via Got voice. It. Um, did some people see that I saw I was talking to them and didn't respond? Yeah. I moved on to the next person and I just kept going. And when people started responding back, I then responded to them. It turned into six more than the two because they gave me their phone number. Okay. Because guess what? This morning I'm on fire. I saw comments from my team last night. And I'm like, you need to be on Team Tracy. That's okay. what you do. Not it works. You need to be on Team Tracy because remember, you're selling yourself as a person. If they want it, it works. They can go to itworks.com, sign up, and then move over. You are you going to be on Team Tracy. That's my, my thought today. Got it. Thank you. Great question. You're welcome. Thank you. Next person. 
Hang him on this right, it's Brett. Hey, let me find you. I'm Good morning, my dear. Good morning. How are you? Edit that part out for live, okay? I mean the Zoom, edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. It's very similar to Poppy L's. Okay. Um, my question is, after you've identified your tribe, you got your followers, you're following back, all that jazz, can you tell me how you kind of go from the start to how you are, are identifying who you want to like, comment, and then eventually inbox? And then I guess the ending part is what you already answered from Pavio's question. How do you go from getting them online to on the phone? Do you understand okay. what I'm asking? Yep, let's do it. We're going to Okay, let's, let's, let's role play. play. Let's role play. You can't pause. So let's go. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I'm about to tell you. We about okay. to role play. I, I, we're, we're about to be in your inbox right now. Okay. Hey, good morning, Brittany. Hey, good morning. How are you? Now, I'll tell you, you just posted a selfie. You just posted a selfie. Because I'm huh? looking at you right now. I'm telling, I'm giving you the setup. You just posted a selfie. So this uh -huh. has to be something when I go in here, I have to uh -huh. see something that calls a conversation. Right? I see. So I'm looking at you and I'm like, hey girl, you cute this morning. Where Thank you. Going? you. <laughs> Where you going? I'm working at the house and trying to keep sane from this boy running through my crib. Oh, wow. Hey, I know we've been talking, you know, a bit. Are you busy right now? A little bit, yeah. What's going on? You are, I actually want to talk to you about some things. Like, I, the more I keep on watching you, I'm like, man, I need to tell you a few things. I want to tell you some things about what I have going on. I just really feel like you would be good at something in which I do. I only need five minutes. So I know you're busy. I hear you talking about the boy. Does he have a does he have a nap time? Girl, praise the Lord, yes. Yeah. Every day. Same time, clockwork, 1230. 1230. Can, um, yes. what's, your, what's your phone number? Can I call you? <laughs> well, why don't you give me yours and I'll give you mine too? Sure. Let's do this. Text okay. me because Facebook is funny. Can you text me right now? Yeah, yeah. sure. Da 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 da. Text me. Then when okay. you me, I'm gonna save your number. You girl, we going to get this money. Duh! Not the money, but the shmoney. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's really good that I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. And here come the boy. Uh, next Thank one, you. Girl. You're welcome. Next question. Hey Tracy, good morning. Good morning. Who am I talking to? This is Courtney. Hey Courtney, let me come find you. All right, honey, what's your question? Good morning. My question is, um, I've been struggling with doing a host to post. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm fishing for people to post my post on their page. And because mm -hmm. I am in the beginning, I don't really have a journey. So my question is. Is it okay to use, you know, one of the pictures that I find on Pinterest, or should I give it a little bit more time to figure out exactly my journey before I request the host to post? So you say you're struggling. I want to make sure I understand the question. So you're struggling with the host to post. Yes. And then why are you struggling with the host to post? Because I don't have a journey to share. Okay. So let's do this together. I know you're new. You don't know my power. When I talk to people about power of words, okay? How do you feel when you hear struggle? Negative. Negative. What's the new word? Positive. Amazing. Okay. So now, there you go. So in our host to post, what are you right now? I am just starting out. Hey, you got, you're a new person. You're a newbie. So guess what? This is how we change your sentence structure. How we change your sentence structure is you are new to host a post. Now, okay. Feel about that. Much better than struggle. Much better. So number one, psychology of leader, psychology of owner. If you walk into every time, if you you will associate, if you say struggle with host a post, every time you get ready to do a host a post, you will struggle. Literally because okay. I struggle with a host to post. 
Now, what I want you to do is step up to the plate. Okay. I'm new with the host to post, so then guess what? When we get over the hurdle, it will be, I've been doing host to post for two months. I've been doing host to post for six months. So watch that. Okay. Remember when we say you don't have a journey, right? What are you supposed to do when you don't have one? Use my upline. Okay, who's your upline? <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Twelve pounds so far. On Your it works. Upline has lost one hundred and thirty pounds, and then with it works, she gained, okay. She lost forty. She lost forty eight pounds in four months. Oh, it works. Okay. So I mean, now, how do you feel about putting that on your wall? Much more confident. There we go. So did you see? I just used that. Okay. People. Do you see how you took something you were frustrated with? You changed the words. You changed your mind. You changed what you were saying. Okay. Now today, can you go get it with that? I'm going to get it. There I'm putting. Go. My, I'm going to do a host and post in a minute. There you go. So what I'm going to do with you, Courtney, is I'm going to send you my results. from. Okay. Here, and I'm going to send you my product. I'm gonna okay. I'm going to send you the products in which I do I use, and then you're going to tag me okay. in the post. You okay. got it? And you guess what? We're going to close them. Okay. <laughs> you hear me? We're going to close, close them. The deal. Okay. All right. Perfect. Great, great question. Next person. Okay. All right, Tracy. Um, hey. You know me. This is Who Tanya. Is this is Tanya. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> Okay, so I don't necessarily have a question, but let me just put my aha out there. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so the aha is something that we've been hearing, and it's something that I'm definitely like taking my mental bath every morning. Every morning, just like you wash your body, you got to take that mental bath. So, yeah, so the power of, like you were saying, your words. Um, some people call it the atmosphere, like speaking it into existence, using that power to say, to build your confidence. It's like affirmations, right? Yes. So it's so important. And that's something that I applaud the young lady before us for speaking out because we can, we can get stuck right there yes. because that's where we're so used to being. Yeah. And so it's very important that sometimes, like they say, think before you speak. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We kind of got to go back to thinking before we speak, because when we release it into the atmosphere, that's it. Yeah. What you think about, you bring about. And so that has been um, the weight on me, and it's a feel-good weight. I am, I am enjoying it and just correcting those mental mindsets um, that, that were once a challenge. So we're overcoming I'm overcoming today. I love that. Let me tell you all this. Let me tell you what Tanya just said was absolutely powerful. And I'm going to tell you how even more powerful it is. Do you see how you said the things in which you speak into the atmosphere? Those are the things in which you will have. Those are the things that are around you. But let me tell you this. If you believe, if you believe that everything that I speak into the atmosphere that's amazing is going to be around me, you also must believe that everything I speak into the atmosphere that's negative will be around me as well. That's how powerful it is. So what happens is we, when we speak life and we're saying, this is going to be great, this is going to be amazing, then you believe that, right? And then when things go wrong, you, your brain trick you and flip you and make you think, oh, now this is happening to me. This is out of my control. This isn't happening. This is whatever. No, you said it. You put it out there. You said, I'm yes. like making these calls today. So guess what? That's what's in the atmosphere. Oh, I do not. Oh, I cannot text people. That's what's in the atmosphere. I want you to tell you you have way more control than what you think you do. It's literally what you're putting into the atmosphere. Is it positive or is it negative? So I even made this post one day that said, hey, take a look around you. Everything that's around you. Okay, think of, what are you thinking right now? What is in your head? Okay, bam, open your eyes and look around. It's literally what you put up there. We don't realize we're as powerful as what we are. That's why you have to check what comes out of your eyes, your ears, and your mouth. These are interests into yourself. So what she said was absolutely true, but it's true in the negative realm too. Another question? We got about six more minutes. We are doing great this morning. Hey, 
Hey, Katie, I see you, but I can't hear you. Try to come back out and come back in. Even when you come off, it still gives me nothing. So try to log off and come back in. Let's get another question until Katie comes back in. Hey, Tracy, this is Shawana. I don't have a question, but somebody typed something in the inbox um, okay. saying that they had a question. Did you want me to read it out for you? Yes, please read it for me. Um, it is coming from uh, Benitra. She Hi, Benitra. said she said that she's been um, in multiple inboxes yesterday, 40 alone, but no one is giving their number. They just ask for my link. How do I get past that? Okay, so what I hear from that is you said you were in someone's inbox and no one is given their number. The next question, Benitra, you'd have to type it back for me, love. The next question would have to be, did you ask for the phone number? You're asking for the phone number. Okay, and then they're not giving the phone number back? Where do, what, what was the comment about the tug of war? The comment was, here's the rope that we have. You're pulling. You're not winning. You're not happening. Let's go back to third grade. <laughs> okay, you're not winning. What do you do when you're not winning the war? Benitra, you go get people with you. So, who is your upline, Benitra? Tracy, have you added me into any of those? Have you three, three cords stranded us? When you responded to them, have you added Tracy into them? Add me into it. See, go get help. When you can't by yourself, go get some help to pull this cord. I want y'all to take this visual with you today. Okay, we are out here playing tug of war. Number one, don't y'all jump on the other side. Make sure you understand, go back to third grade. Hey, I wanted to win everything. <laughs> I was so competitive than the mug. Hey, Shauna, come on. We look like, I remember this as a kid. I wanted to win. So guess what? Benitra, let me tell you this, because I know her story. Benitra has amazing results. Benitra, are you down 28 pounds? Shake your head, yes or no? 28 pounds and... 28 or more. I want her to tell you, Benitra has an amazing story to the point where I've been watching her lose weight every day in front of my face on these trainings, right? So there's a problem somewhere in here. There's a problem somewhere. So guess what? Let me help until I can figure out the answer. But what we don't do, let me tell you what we don't do. Because remember I told you I want to win the tug of war. We don't do this. We got the rope, right? And we going back and forth. You don't do this. Because guess what? When you do this and you let it go, you can't win anymore. That's what you don't do. The moment you take your hands off the rope, the more the race is over, the more that they go backwards. And guess what? They have won. So you can't take your hand off the rope. So now what she needs to do, what you need to do, if that is occurring, you're asking for people's phone numbers and they're not giving it to you, you need to go get somebody else to come help you. We got to win. Again, I'm giving you a visual to pay attention to. We got to win this war today. If you got to sit there and you talk to people, if you want to be funny, they can't see you. If you got to sit here and be like, okay, what's out of my own? Am I going back here? Am I winning? Okay, it's getting a little heavy. Hey, I got to reach out and call my upline. Because this thing, I need some help. Great question. Next person, we got about two minutes left. So I got enough time for one more question. Make hey, Tracy. Hey. Katie. Hey, Katie. Now I can hear you. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm so glad. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So my question is, you said something on one of your old trainings um, about like people wanting the $100 hair versus like the $400 hair. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's my market. Like I'm getting people that want the $5 press on nails and not okay. going to like a nail salon. Uh -huh. So I'm, my network is growing. And people are watching me, but I feel like it's just like same people I'm following up. I know like it takes like 17 times, but it's just not going anywhere. So mm -hmm. I need to really start growing my network with the people that want to go get their nails done or that $400 hair versus. Okay. Uh, Guess what you just said? It takes how many times? 17 times. Okay. What number are you on? 17 Probably like 17 times. Okay. So if it takes 17 times and you have it, have you moved on? 
No. Okay. There's the issue. There's the issue. Okay. I'm telling you, when I come up to people's issues, it's always the point back. So if you had told me I was on time number four, I'd be like, oh, you got 13 more to go. Congratulations. You're still in the race. But if we're at 17 and it's over, this is what you need to do. It's done. All right, let me move on. Who out here wants $10 nails? All right, you want $10? Who want $50 nails? Who want $100 nails? Who want the nails to stay on? You? Let me get in your inbox. Okay. See the difference? See, guess what? Katie, I know you've been on my trainings for a very long time. Katie, you were doing something one way. So guess what? In order to make a shift and a turnaround and to keep going in another direction, imagine if you had took two miles off course, right? You were driving. Hey, anybody ever missed their exit? And then you got to drive like a whole five more minutes down here. Have y'all ever done that? Oh, I, I swear. It's one exit on over here. It's literally like a whole nother five miles that if you don't get off if you don't get off right there you're gonna be down here and you're gonna be like late wherever you're going right I, I, i've done it numerous times because my brain is thinking right but guess what when you don't get off on the right exit and you go rear off and you want that five miles out you have to give yourself time you got five miles to come back in before you get on track right you right. don't get back on track because now you decided and you turned around and now you own the course and now you're about to get it. So guess what? You've made the aha. Remember I told you the way you're going to be successful is if you start seeing today is day one. Yes. Now you've made some mistakes. You shifted it around. I'm in the race. Now it's going better. I'm going to delete this person and I'm going to add to my network. I'm going to go on out here and I'm going to go get what it is that's supposed to be for me. But guess what? You went five miles off course, Right. Are you all the way back to the, uh, the point of origination? No, because you just started it. So give yourself some grace. Give yourself some time. Remember, when you're talking to people, if they're not ready and I've reached my 17, what am I supposed to do in the rope? Let go. Let's go get a new rope. Let's go. Get it? Yes. Thank you. You are very welcome. Today has been amazing. This is going on up. I'm going to be able to share with you all that link soon. Um, as soon as I get off this training this morning, I'm going to put this on out because I feel like this is maybe one that you need to replay right now. Let me go catch all of those nuggets. She throw this stuff at me really, really quickly. And I just want to hear that again. If you out here running and you working out and you like, Hey, I just need, I need to hear that. There are times that I literally will drive in my truck and listen to it all over again of myself and just be like, okay, now what did I say? I was delivering such great. Ooh, when that came on out, that came from somewhere. I need to let somebody know that. So maybe you need to do a replay. Maybe there's somebody on your team that's right now, they're in your head and you're like, oh my God, this is what she need to hear today. I'm going to send this to her. S text some blessing. <laughs> blessing. Hit this link. So I know we're going to have an amazing Tuesday today. I will share with y'all today, activity wise, everybody's asking me, how do you have 20 people on your appointment book every day? Because guess what? I'm messaging people every day. Even with 20 people on the book, I'm messaging more people to set them up for later. That's how. Eight potentials. I'm not stopping at eight. The day isn't over. I'm not asleep. Let's see how many we can get up out of here. <laughs> how, many, how many more of y'all want to be on this train? While I sit here today, guess what? I'm going into my own salon today and being a customer. I'm about to get my hair did. My makeup artist is on her way. I'm about to do some filming today. I'm about to talk to these 20 people with my earpiece today. And everybody in there who hearing me talk, you best believe somebody going to ask me, what Tracy, what you over there doing? I'm being intentional. Do you want to be intentional with me? You want to get on this team? You trying to fix some stuff? You need to tone the Titan? Guess who got all her samples in the truck, just in case? I'm being intentional. I'm ready. I need some cash today. I told you the cash goes to my savings. I need some more deposits in my savings today. <laughs> Even when the debt pen to tell you, I ain't about to be here. I do not know what loves debt. So even when people come forward, even when I'm buying something at the store, they'll look on over and be like, dad, oh, that's cool. It's a conversation starter. I said, I love debt to no one. Yeah, don't you not like it too? Yeah, I don't either. 
especially if I'm at Target. I love their, their, their customer, Target, Nordstrom, Starbucks, great places to recruit people. I will recruit them in, in customer service in my business all the time. They're great places to recruit people. So therefore, when they say yes, oh, whatever, you know what? Can I give you my information? Can I give you my information? I want to show you how to double what you're doing right now. But Kevin, remember what I said, I am a five-star business. Look at her ring. Look at her whatever. Look at how she's presenting herself today. This is what I am. This is who I am. I'm not being anybody else. So when I say I want to double what you have, I look the part. I look the part. I look like, man, I should be, she, she found something amazing in me today. Yes, she did. And I want to tell you how to double what you're doing right now. Hey, what's your phone number, babe? Usually it's always somebody younger than me. Always. What's your phone number, babe? And they'll go, okay. What's your name? Tina? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Tracy. I love when they miss Tracy. Miss Tracy shows me manners. Hey, oh, I, I can't wait to call you, Miss Tracy. So guess what? I love that girl already. Like that's the girl that I, I love to help. That one right there. That's because that's she got that thing that I can't teach her. So when I hear that, I'm like, baby, make sure you call me. I want to talk to you. And every day I do that, not to get boxed in. Do you hear that? Not to get boxed in. That's what I do every day because this is my business. And guess what? I want to be at home. Remember what I said to my husband in there? And maybe I love this. And this is what I could be. And this is a desire. So that means every day I got to go into the intention and go get it. It's mine. What's yours? What's yours today? Go get it. So I'll talk to y'all later because I'm up out of here. I got to go meet my makeup artist. Got to go get my hair done. Got to go be intentional. Got to go make this money. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later.